Well, tubers, we're back at it again. Day four of the Redneck Project. I've got the bracket welded on here. The angle wasn't quite right, so I uh, I uh, tacked it on this side first, and then I f tacked it on this side, and we filled this side in with weld, <clears throat> and then we welded this side. So now we got to do is fit the pump on there, like so. Put the bolts in it. And then figure out my uh, belt tightener. I think I'm just going to use a big wash machine spring. Probably pull downwards. Uh, weld the bracket on the side of here with a hole in it, and pull downwards down something down there. Either I'll, I'll either drill a hole in this this cross member here or something like that. So I'll get this mounted up and see what we're going to do for a spring, and get right back with you. Alrighty, here's what we got. The belt's on. Got a couple, uh, actually they're uh, bed frame springs or couch springs, I think, from a futon thing or something I disassembled a long time ago. And uh, kind of hooked a chain in the middle there because I couldn't stretch three of them. But there's there's quite a bit of tension on there. I mean, the belt is fairly tight. So we're going to see if it works. Um, put a little water in there because I don't want to run it with the seal dry. Let it run out like that. Got my battery. See how good the Toyota is. It's been setting for two days. Cool! That actually works. Sweet. It looks a little cockeyed though. I don't understand why. Perhaps it slid in here. The hole in this aluminum thing is quite large. I might loosen them up and see if I can reef that back straight because it was a lot straighter than that when I tacked it. So I'll see if I can adjust that and uh, figure out what I need for plumbing parts. And I'm going to try to get up in there and tack that exhaust back on since I got the welder cables all dragged out here. I don't know if I can get in there. It's pretty tight and I'm terrible at welding upside down. But uh, it's looking like it might actually work. Figure out what I need for plumbing and I'll be downtown tomorrow. Maybe I'll get some of them fittings. I got some pipe. In fact, I got a lot of pipe. Um, inch and a half BVC. But I'll get some fittings and figure out how I'm going to plumb this all into the heat because I am going to do like one of the tubers suggested on my uh, one of my one of my first videos on this project that uh, heat it with the engine. I had already planned on doing that, but uh, I can figure out where I'm going to tie it in. If I'm going to tie it into this upper hose or if I'm going to tie it into the lower one, I have to look at the water pump, see which way it goes, and. Uh, figure out my valves and stuff like that and get her all uh, hooked up. So that's cool. It works. This is a great motor. I think the head gasket is going because there's a little bit of water in the oil. I don't have antifreeze in it so I'm not too concerned about it. But. I mean, that's, that's a great running little motor to just be sitting for two days in the cold and rain, fire it up for two minutes and shut it off and hit the key and she fires right back up. It's a 8622R carbureted. So, anyway, there's that. I'm going to see about tacking that exhaust pipe and uh, figure out my fittings. So, alright, so I've got the exhaust tacked under there. In a couple, three spots, four spots. So that's back together. And then I decided that instead of just ending it there where it was ended, where the old exhaust hooked on, 
that I would fabricate a new exhaust and I had a piece of straight pipe I actually had a crossover so now she's got dual exhaust it ain't the prettiest dual exhaust but it's there so now let's see what she sounds like I used uh, some thin rod here for kind of a, you know, so it'll give a little bit because there's no flexible coupling in it. And I don't want it to bust. I think that's what caused the manifold piece there to bust off that Y pipe, was the old one was welded rigid and put some stress on it when you rev the motor like that. But they're not exactly the same length, so I think I'll nip this one off with my cutting wheel and then call it a day. So, anyway. We're coming along, get some plumbing figured out here, and quit for the day. So thanks for watching, and tune in next time.